And now I'm trying to make this jump again. Oh, I can make it that totally. So I think I've had my fill of Delfino Plaza Flooded. And it's time to face our dooms, respective dooms, um, and taking on the final boss fight, which is just one stage away from Corona Mountain. I did not need the Yoshi at all to get up here, but here it is. Corona Mountain. Very, um, many very deadly things. Such as the ground. Uh, it's nothing but lava. Oh, those spikes there. Uh, the ground is nothing but lava. Those spikes are one hit kill. Well, it's actually a three hit kill, but there's no time between hits. It doesn't give you any period of invincibility, so you die pretty much instantly. If you're touched, you're going to die. Um, the fire, that's one hit kill. Um, the one-ups, I think those can kill you half the time. Uh, can I make this jump? Oh no. Is it too short? Well, I need a hover nozzle. Um, I'm thinking... Yeah, you're just going to have to come back another episode because I'm... That's a little teaser of Corona Mountain and the troubles I'll have to face there, but... I'm not doing that quite yet. We've unfinished business. As you can see, the flood is now gone. So we can access all seven levels again. Um, the first of which I haven't been to in 50-something videos now. Um, Bianco Hills. Gonna return there, because I know there were some blue coins and secret shines that I hadn't gotten yet. Every level has two secret shines, which are just hidden somewhere, and then there's an eighth act after the Shadow Mario missions. Um, since I've already gotten the 100 coin shine in all these levels anyway, I wanted to be worrying about that. See there, Yoshi wanted a pineapple. Keep that in mind, that's always going to be important. Um, for these first three levels, um, I didn't have Yoshi with me the first time I went through them, so... That's going to be something I come back and do here, is do all the Yoshi missions and um, Yoshi collectibles uh, that I couldn't do before. Right now, I'm trying to get up a wall. Don't. There's no reason why, because you can clearly see there's this huge gate right to my left. Oh wait, surprise, the one windmill I never sprayed on my first five videos while I was in here was the one that contained a blue coin. So that was one of the blue coins I had missed. See that guy up there? This guy's dirty. So I figured, hey, you know it would be fun fun to watch? Um, if I jump on top of him, I'll do all these front flippy type deals. And I can spray water while I'm doing the front flips. So if I'm going around in a complete circle, and he's at a portion of that circle, if I spray him with water while I'm bouncing on him, he'll get clean. Right? Well, that's not exactly how things in Mario Sunshine work. In order for something to get cleaned, where it be a villager or a bell tower or Shadow Mario to take damage, you have to keep water for a constant amount of time, at least, or it won't actually register as hitting or cleaning or hurting whatever you're hitting. So I just keep bouncing around, spraying not enough time consecutively on this guy and he's not getting any cleaner Let's try to go in first person mode it does look fun I guess to flip around but and I can't hit him from this angle so I just get off and clean him get my coin and now that I've gotten those things taken care of which I don't even understand how I missed let me check my coin total because I don't have this fancy 3D graphics display of how many coins I have left that updates every time that takes a good percentage of the screen when I'm playing the game so I have to actually collect, check myself uh, as you can see I'm getting hit by things 
from the sky and from beehives. I'm searching for something. Can you guess what it is? It is not a quick and painless death. It is a pineapple. That's right. If you remember back to the beginning of this video, Yoshi wanted to make a pineapple rocket. So I'm going to go get this and some baking soda and fall down a wall and some vinegar and we're going to build a volcano out of a pineapple, which is close enough, I guess to satisfy the Yoshi's needs. But first I have to make it over this wall which I can clearly just walk right through. And from here, jump right up a hill maybe. Mario tries to uh, send it going long. It didn't go long enough, I think. I should have maybe pushed it a little bit further, but now I've got a mount. I can ride this thing all up and down Bianco Hills, and it's no longer difficult to get pretty much anywhere that I would have trouble to have gotten before, where I'd have to jump on rooftops and do all these jumps and time dives, and I don't want to deal with it. Now Yoshi can just spin jump wherever and ever. Now there are certain things that Yoshi is needed for, even in regular playthroughs that use the nozzle, like, um... He's the only thing that can eat butterflies, which we've got one over here, which release a blue coin. Or if they were yellow butterflies, they would release golden coins. Or if they were green, probably one-ups. I'm not so sure. Um, other than that, Yoshi, he can fly pretty good. I'm going to need him for some things in these levels that I couldn't do before without the Yoshis. Um, one specific instance of such really jumps out in my mind in Rico Harbor. It really is just a loophole in uh, the nozzle business here. Oh, you can see here I've lost uh, my Yoshi directly on top of an enemy. So I'm trying to get him out of there. And eventually I kill the thing without having to go and spray it, which I don't understand how that happened, and then Yoshi fell out of the tree. I was glad to not have lost him. And the other thing you need a Yoshi for, he's the only thing that can knock down beehives and eat bees. So, I'm going to do such. Okay, so shoot down some beehives with some Yoshi juice, I guess. Because there's a special actual chemical at C12H13NO2 uh, inside the Yoshi's spittle that releases the bonds of honey and nectars found within the comb of the honey bee. Oh, jeez, I'm getting stung. So I use Yoshi's float kick butterfly to uh, jump backwards so the bees sort of just tunnel themselves into a um, death machine of tongues. Um, and there's another beehive here. This is the one I was actually meaning to go for. This one rewards me if I kill all the bees with a blue coin. Now Yoshi can travel onward fruit soldier um, but I want to go up to the uh, windmill because there's nothing up there that Yoshi can dominate um, Yoshi would much rather go to town because there is one blue coin that's been uh, avoiding my sights now that I've got Yoshi uh, I think I can make a stab at it only uh, I've been thinking Maybe this whole Yoshi business is uh, too overplayed so far in the segment. So, what you say I try to do this sans nozzle, sans dinosaur creature? That means I'm ditching Yoshi. He served me well to get up here easier and quicker. But now, Mario goes solo making use of this 
really long distance covering rope business and as soon as you jump you spin the control stick in a circle and you'll turn into pirouette mario and oh geez that is nowhere near close enough so we saunter sadly back onto our dinosaur mount and we know he can make it up there I mean come on I mean, you see that jump it's like 15 thousand feet he probably couldn't make it from the ground alone so I just